Hey, what's up guys? Today, in this video, we will continue playing with React and we will create today a tab component. So what we will do is, if you go to get bootstrap, the bootstrap documentation, right? The bootstrap uh, framework gives us the tab component. Okay, it doesn't have any jQuery or, you know, behavior but it's quite simple so let me see i think you have you must have seen it i mean it's a pretty common thing so we need a ul with an li okay which gives you this you know tab kind of an effect right and what we will do is like we did our accordion right we will have components which define the content of that particular tab right so let me jump to the code we have our accordion right uh, let me show you the data which we were passing rather uh, component is fine i think in our app.js you see we had this data which we were passing as props to the accordion right as data so it had the id name the content which is you know required and all those stuff so we'll have a similar structure for our tabs as well so basically what we are trying to do is um, we'll say that the data structure is pretty much the same and just using a different component we get a different ui right that's what we are trying to achieve so let's get started without too much fuss So I'll create a component inside my components folder. So tabs, index.js. So this is my boilerplate. Okay. So this is done. Let's just have one div only and we will do our you know, important stuff in here. So what we what do we want to do first? Let's load that component. I'll have my tabs will come over here. Okay, and I'll put this spaces as two. Okay, and I think I need an edit config editor config. I'll set that up later. Okay. So the same data which is sent to the accordion will be sent to the tab as well as props. So let me jump to edge browser now. And I think I had installed the uh, plugin. Yes, I did. So yeah, let's refresh and okay, I don't need to refresh. I'm sorry about that. So tabs and I'm getting the props, right? So this is fine, I think. What we now need to do is, okay, I can't close the tabs. This is the markup which I need. So I have a UL and then inside that an LI and an A tag, okay? So let's go over here and we will call a function. So I need to call a function this dot render tabs. And let's just create that function here. And we will need to still get the tab data as state, okay? Because I think we will be playing with the data, like, you know, having the active state and all. So we'll have tabs, which is set null by default. And we will have an active tab, which is also null set by default. It's a good thing to keep values as null because then checking for null becomes very easy. Like you know, I can destructure the variable tabs from this dot state, right? And I will only render the tabs when they are not null. You know? So this condition becomes very easy and the render method will be only called when I actually have some data. Otherwise, I'm not making those you know, render calls. All right, so 
we have done the destructuring here we will need to do the destructuring here as well and with that i have that constant i'll return some markup what is going to be that markup ul what's the class required over here so it's nav and nav tabs so i'll just add that and inside this we need to iterate over every tab which is there so <clears throat> from inside the map function we need to return some markup so we'll do that and we know that the name of the tab will be present so we can for now start with tab.name so right now i think if we are okay no i don't see that getting rendered here some problem i guess i have an ul that is being returned okay why don't i see what is happening over here there's no error in the console which is fine um render tabs okay that's a little strange index is required here as key because this is going to repeat and if you have seen my previous video react needs that index to render itself properly but why is it not doing this stuff so this dot state okay my bad so state I can't do it like this. Let's uh, rather I can. We'll have component did mount. Okay. And let's have data. This dot props. First of all, let's set this dot set state. Tabs will be data. Okay. So with this, I think now the rendering will happen. So we have the tabs. There are certain things which we need to handle, but we'll we'll come to it uh, one by one. So the tabs are getting rendered and handle the click of an a tag. Okay, so on click, we'll send the event and this dot handle click. Pass the event and the tab, the current tab which is you know there. So let me make some space um over here okay and let's create this function we will get the event current tab okay so the first thing which we want to do is prevent default because it's an a tag and we don't want the page to refresh and let's just console the current tab and see what is coming up i mean i know it will be the current tab but still okay service about us contact us okay so now what do we want to do when the tab is clicked first of all let's have a new tabs variable which is this dot oops state dot tabs okay because we want to iterate over uh, all the tabs we want to check which of the tab is clicked and that particular tab will get an active state and the rest can have inactive right this is what we are trying to do so we have new tabs we will iterate over new tabs so new tabs dot for each by the way uh, in my previous video i you know, while while doing the video i real i had made a mistake of running a map function on this i think we should not run a map because we are not returning anything instead we should use each okay the for each should work here i had written it in the comment uh, after i did the video i realized that it was a mistake so i had it, i had that in the comments um, i hope you got that um so yeah uh, you can find the link of my previous video over here on top somewhere here if you have not seen it but if you have seen it i think you will find that 
it has a map you can use for reach so yeah let's move ahead so new tabs index dot state okay, is equal to tab dot id equals equals current tab dot id okay so if i okay let me put the condition first active else inactive okay so what basically we are trying to do here is if the tab id while iterating through each tab if that tab id matches my current tab id then my new tab index dot state becomes active otherwise it becomes inactive okay this is one line of you know, doing the condition and once that is done i think we will do this dot set state tabs is new tabs and let's set the active tab to current tab dot id okay and i think because we want the current tab the active tab to be set in our initial state as well so why don't we do one thing over here also we will do constant active tab equals data dot find get tab data but the condition is that it should return tab data when tab data dot state is equal to equal to active so we will be setting one tab as active by default right so that particular tab will be you know available as this constant and so active tab will be active tab dot id i'm just setting the id i don't want to set that entire object over there okay so so far so good now obviously when we are rendering the tabs right we need to have this active state because if you see right now all of them are looking the same however this first one which is the active has this active class and that's what exactly our state says right so let's go over here class name i think it's the a tag which has the class right right so a tag we need to use the template strings so inside bracket i have nav link and then i can straight away do tab dot state save it and refresh right i have this now right i have a small problem you see this thing this minus sign is coming from this component okay i know this because i had already um, done this but yeah so uh, the problem is my accordions css is giving me a little bit of problem i have active dot after as this if i comment this out okay you can see that that particular dash goes away but now my accordion looks weird because it should have that minus sign so what we will do is dot accordion i think it should fix should have no what happened i thought it was correct let me see just a bit mm. okay i have accordion active okay if i do like this maybe yeah okay so so yes basically what i'm saying is that the css property of content will be applied only when the accordion class is there and that same element has the active class as well okay so now the accordion is working properly i don't have any issues with that and the active state is maintained active state is sorry uh, maintained here as well so this is done tabs are switching and now what we need to do is show the content right everything right now says my tab will come over here again pretty straightforward let's have a constant called tab to show which will be active tab minus one because we need the index and what i can straight away do is 
if I have tabs which is not null, then tabs tab to show dot content can be rendered. So hit save. Okay, active tab is not defined on line 37. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need to destructure that. I forgot. Hmm. And and yeah, I think I got this to working. So you see, this is here, this is here, and it's perfectly working. You know, working as we expected. So the accordion and the tabs are using the same you know data to render themselves. However, both have different kinds of behavior. So yeah, I think a small little video on how we can use the same data structure to have an accordion as well as a tab. And in the next video, what we are trying to do is see what is HOCs or higher order components and how we can use an HOC to store the, um, how do you say, the last active tab or last active uh, accordion okay so that when the user refreshes the page uh, like you know if i if i was looking at about us accordion and the contact us tab and if i hit refresh i would want that this particular component remembers that okay we will use the local storage uh, feature to save that information Right, I, I'll try to save that preference of that user in that local storage and whenever the component is being rendered, it will read from local storage, it will check if there is a preference already set in that and we will render that particular tab accordingly. Right. So yeah, that's it for now. I think um, we will see how the HOC work in the next video. Till then, hope you enjoy the video. If you do that, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.